Hi guys, today I'm cooking Burmese style chicken and squash, also known as pumpkin, kabacha, or buttercup squash. The butteriness of this squash makes a perfect dish in this winter season. I'll be using just half, which is more than enough for four servings. You can leave out any meat and this would still taste good. But today, I'll be adding chicken breast strips. Then I need about two large shallots, also adding ginger and garlic. Once we have all our main ingredients, let's start preparing the squash. Remove the seeds and the insides. There is no need to peel the skin because it will all later be cooked fully tender. Chop them up into squared pieces like so. Transfer into a large bowl and give this a nice wash. Once these are cleaned, put aside for now. Chop up the ginger, garlic, and shallots. The quickest method for me is using my Nutribullet. Into it, I add three to four very generous amount of chili powder. Next, it's time to prepare the chicken. Once this is nice and clean, it's all ready for a quick 10 minute marinade, which is pretty much just turmeric powder and fish sauce. Mix and put aside until it's ready for cooking. Now that everything is prepped, let's get cooking. On medium heat, add some oil, then add the chopped ginger, garlic, and shallots. The color is nice and red from the chili powder. Saute these until it's nice and soft and doesn't smell so raw anymore. Then add the marinated chicken strips and stir until all the pieces are nicely coated. I close the lid for about one to two minutes to let this cook until the chicken is no longer pink and I start to see some oil. Then I add some water, just up to the point that it covers the chicken. As for the seasoning, add a teaspoon of salt, one to three tablespoons of mushroom powder, and this is completely optional. Then close the lid and cook until it comes to a boil. And this took about 10 to 15 minutes. You can see the oil rising to the surface. The chicken is now fully cooked. So it's time to start adding the squash. It smells so good by this point. Give this a gentle stir. Add a little more water until it covers just enough of the added squash. Close the lid one more time, reduce heat to medium-low, and cook the squash for about 25 minutes. If there's too much liquid, cook with the lid open. If, there's, if it's too dry, just add a little more water as needed. Once the squash are tender, it should look like this. Have one last taste test for salt. And if that's good to go, turn off the heat and add the last ingredient, which is a heaping amount of cilantro. And there you have a yummy and filling meal. This concludes the end of the recipe. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and don't forget to say hi. Have a great rest of the week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.